it's, I don't know, 4.30, 5 a.m., something like that. We're up at the shop, about to get the truck started, get ready for the day. Uh, we got a lot of stops this video, a lot of stops. We got to pick up this morning in Leroy, head over to Nebraska. We got to drop, pick up in Nebraska, dropping two drops in Iowa, pick up in uh, Woodhull, Illinois, and then bring it back down to normal uh, tomorrow. So we got a lot to do. We got a lot to get done. Hopefully we can get it done at a timely manner. But with that being said, I want to give a shout out to the homie Super Trucker Jake for getting this roller shot of my truck on the highway that I'll put right here. But uh, I appreciate it, Jake. But with that being said, let's get this truck started and let's get to it. Oh, look at her. She dirty. But with all this rain and everything else, there's no point in really getting her washed because there ain't nothing but wetness outside. Ugh. it's not freaking 10 degrees or lower actually I need to uh Pulling in. Peterbilt. He's driving uh, the T680. I don't know if he's switching over to the Peterbilt. He normally, uh, when he goes home, if he's driving one of the trucks home, he normally take either the T680 or the Volvo because they're quieter than the Pete. Of course, because if you know Pete's straight piped and all. So. It makes it easier for the neighbors not to complain when he takes one of the semis home because he lives in a cul-de-sac in a neighborhood, so. That truck's actually my mom's truck. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna start the Pete and take the Pete today because my mom's truck's been having a uh, 
overflow issues. The motor just got uh, redone on it and it's still having issues, so. Uh, I need to turn my hazards on. Knew I was forgetting something. Yeah, this axle's up. Uh, let's see. All good there. Clearance lights working. Turn signals working. Turn works. I need to change these out. I, I don't like those. They need to go to clears, like my rear lights. All right, boys. Well, we're loaded. Uh, didn't take too long. I was the first truck to get loaded, so we're gonna scale. We're gonna scale now. Make sure we're not over gross, anything like that. Doing some tracking on my loads here. On there, on the, uh, or at least trying to, since they sent me an email saying that I got tracking requests. Still got one more. I don't know, I'll figure that out later. Figure that out this weekend. Uh, I think it may be my Friday load that needs a tractor or whatever. Don't really care about axle weights. I should be fine there. All I care about is uh, gross. pull up and rework our way on the scale A 38 on the trailer not bad but we'll be running early we're not supposed to deliver till four like almost five o'clock we'll be there at like two two three o'clock something like that so it's kind of perfect because i'm gonna try to get unloaded and reloaded today oh we're close Seven, nine. Make sure we're fully on. Yep, we are. Seven, nine, ninety. Well, seventy nine, nine hundred, more or less, I should say. Yep, 79,900. 100 pounds. Which is cool with me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll get there. 2:30 ish depending on traffic shouldn't really have to worry about weather so the plan 
deliver and try to pick up my load going back into Iowa today and start heading my way back towards Iowa so we can have an early start tomorrow. That's the plan. Don't know if it'll work out, but we gonna try. Oh well, we finally made it over here. Fremont, Nebraska. I'm gonna get this stuff off here. And then uh, I'm gonna call my next place and see uh, if they'll let me load early. Hopefully they do, but I got a bag in between those two trucks over there. And uh, we'll see how this goes. This will be my first time bagging in between two trucks with a spread, so. I don't think it'll be that difficult. I got more than enough space to do whatever I need to do, so. Let's get right to it. As you guys can see this time it's not pioneer seed it's not seed consultant seed it's a uh, hogmire seed this time around so like i said all this stuff is intertwined one way or another but that's what i got on the trailer hogmire seed because i didn't get a chance to watch them load this this time but. so all this stuff is pretty much the same all under the same umbrella company but seed may be maybe a little different or you know different sizes or whatever but it's all all the same stuff but 
getting them loaded now. I just called the place um, that I'm supposed to load at tomorrow morning. They said my load's ready, so. And they said as long as I get there before five o'clock, I'll be good. And they're unloading me now, and I'm only 27 minutes away. So after that, we're gonna uh, close our doors here, head over there. He told me to bag in dock one through four uh, when I get there, and uh, we will get loaded and start heading back towards Iowa. We'll probably get back into Iowa. I think we've got enough time to head get back into Iowa, I believe. And then we'll sleep somewhere in Iowa and then uh, deliver early early in the morning and well, deliver half early in the morning and then pick up, no, deliver half early in the morning, deliver our other half, and then we got to pick up in Woodhall in the morning and then go back to normal and deliver, I think at like five or something like that. So we'll see how this goes. All unloaded. Let's get up out of here. Just like that literally 10 minutes already loaded i wish most places were like this but back down the dirt road we go at five miles an hour and uh we'll go get some fuel because i need fuel and then uh we'll just start trucking until i find somewhere to stop for the night all right fuel time and I can see that my underglow is not underglowing like it's supposed to because it's showing green and it's not supposed to be green. And now it's showing blue. And now it's showing, it's like going through like half of a, of a, of like a, trial thing when it's not supposed to be. There we go. Red. Like it's supposed to be. And now it went back green and blue. Red. I'm gonna have to just reset it at this point. That's the reason why I hate the winter time. Nothing works like it's supposed to. Oh, I forgot my freaking towel. But yeah, that's one reason why I absolutely despise the winter time and salt because it seems to just me and lights in the summertime i mean in the winter time don't mix you just just don't like that light finally went out uh this one still malfunctioning but hey it is what it is it's whatever everything's getting replaced coming this spring for the most part and I ain't worried about it. Oh, all right, y'all, we parked. In kind of one of the perfect spots, if you ask me. I mean, somebody could easily park right there if they wanted to. It looks like somebody's already uh, put their trailer in the one, but 
into a snow hill, but this is where we're parked, right next to a whole lot of trash cans. It's what I like. Hopefully nobody parks here, but if it, if somebody does, it is what it is. We're back pretty far in, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm stuck out, but if somebody hits me right here, they got a bigger issue. But I'm gonna go inside, get some food. Uh, I'm gonna let her idle and just lock it while I uh, go inside. So she can cool down before I shut her off for the night. But uh, yeah, then in the morning, we'll get started probably around six. Uh, no, we'll probably leave out probably about, yeah, probably about five, six o'clock in the morning and uh, hit the road. It's like 6, p uh, 6 p.m. now. So yeah, we'll hit the road probably about five, six o'clock in the morning and head on the bell plane to get this off and head to our next drop after that and then head to our next pickup. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. on that oil filter got it a little bit tighter than what it was uh, fuel filter was starting to get a little loose too it's the reason why you always check your filters on semi trucks because they will rattle loose there's no if ends or buts about it with how much these things go down the road and shake and hit bumps and how much that motor moves they will rattle loose from time to time there's been times where I've done oil changes and fuel filter changes because I do them all at the same time. And uh, I put them all on and they've never come loose. And then there's times where I put them all on the same way I've always have, tighten them the same way I've always have, and they rattle a little bit loose. So always check my filters. I mean, the I put these filters on like 15,000 miles ago, I think. Maybe, no, maybe about 20,000 miles ago because I do oil changes and fuel filter changes every 30,000 miles. So. It's been about 25,000 miles, so I got about 5,000 miles left before I change the oil, which I'm going to do it early this time around. But, and they just now coming loose, so it's something to always double check, and then of course checking your oil and all the other good stuff. But I'm about to brush my teeth, which I don't brush my teeth inside the truck stop. Uh, you know, just one of those things, the way people treat truck stops and truck stop bathrooms, I don't want to be brushing my teeth in there, so I just use a bottle of water or a gallon of water depending on what I have in the truck and wet my toothbrush, toothpaste, brush my teeth out here by the truck and wet the toothbrush back down to clean it off and use you know the uh, water from the water bottle to rinse my mouth out and then use my mouthwash so 
that's the way I do it, just to stay out of that. And then plus, mostly, most of the time, it's packed up in there, and everybody's trying to do the same stuff. And you know, people are using the bathroom. I, I don't want to deal with all that stuff. So I'm gonna brush my teeth, and then uh, we gonna hit the road. We got about two two hours and 50 minutes till we get to Bell Plain. We'll make it over there right around 9, 50, 10 o'clock, somewhere, 9.30 to 10 o'clock, somewhere around there. Get half of this load unloaded, and then we'll head to our next drop. Alright y'all, well, we're all checked in, everything else, and uh, they're getting their partial unloaded. We'll be getting all the bags off here. We'll just be left with the boxes up front to deliver to our next spot here in Iowa. And then we gotta go pick up in Woodhole, Illinois, which I'm hoping there's not gonna be a lot of trucks there because there normally is. But this is the reason why I left out as early as I did, so I'll be a little earlier. Just in, in case uh, there is a lot of trucks there, then at least by the time I hit the dock and get loaded, I should be still on time to make it a normal for five o'clock because I don't deliver till five o'clock. So if I got there earlier than five o'clock, I still can't deliver yet, which kind of sucks. But um, the plan is to at least make it there for five o'clock. So I'm not running way behind. Uh, I got to unload and reload tonight uh, for tomorrow, which is Friday, because I got a short run tomorrow. Uh, just an Illinois run to a dealer in Illinois 
Uh, no, actually, I'm wrong about that. I'm going to Missouri uh, Friday, which is tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to Missouri, going to a dealer in Lynn, Missouri. That's where I'm going uh, Friday. So just to run down there, turn around, come back empty. And that's it for my week. So still a pretty decent week, even with that uh, ice storm that happened, which kind of pushed me back a little bit this week um, and pretty much pushed, back, pushed a load off of my week this week. So, but we still made some decent money this week, so I'm not really complaining or anything like that. So they're getting us unloaded now. They said they'd just go ahead and throw my jack back in there for me. And then once we're done with that, we'll hit the road. All right, y'all, well, we made it here to Woodhole. Well, trucks right here. The line, you probably can't see it. But uh, there's a line of trucks uh, up over here. It's the line that I gotta um, sit in. But since the line's so long and I ain't eating anything all day, I figured I'd stop over here and get some food. And then we'll go wait in line for probably about two hours. So that's the plan. Why well, I sit and wait hungry when I could just stop over here and get some food first and then go. So that's the plan. That line is the line that I'm talking about that I gotta sit in to wait to get over there. It goes all the way up there around the corner, so. Probably be, yeah, good old two hours of waiting around and doing nothing, but I got some things to do that I can kill the time with, clean the floor up, and some things to do online that I can do on my phone, and we'll chillax until we uh, get up there and get loaded. Well, y'all, about four hours later, well, uh, three and some change, finally loaded after waiting in that line. I was hoping to be down there by now, unloading. It's like 540, something like that. I was hoping to be unloading already right about now, not, you know, just now on my way, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll get there around seven o'clock. Somewhere around seven o'clock, they don't close till nine, so I'm not too worried about it to get unloaded, reloaded, but just one of them days when you come up this way that normally what happens at at Woodhole. It just it's hit or miss, so take what you can get, I guess. Alright y'all, well we're finally loaded after an hour and thirteen minutes. Uh, they had some issues over here too, so just one of those nights I guess, but I'm gonna end it here. Like, comment, subscribe, share, check out the Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, all that stuff you want to communicate. Merch link. It's in the bio. Amazon links for our stuff done to the truck is also in the bio. Uh, appreciate every single one of you guys for viewing and watching all my videos and showing our love and support. I catch you guys in the next one. Peace.